Good afternoon. My name is Joe Bandel, and I am the last Rosicrucian. Today we're going to talk about the fourth oak advantage. Dogma and rules eliminated. And one of the reasons we talk about the elimination of dogma and rules is, is the, the recognition and the understanding that each individual has a unique path to follow. They have a unique understanding and it, it's impossible to just come up with something that one thing fits everybody. So we'll get started here. All oak psychic concepts develop from four basic elements of human nature. The physical, the emotional, the mental, and the spiritual nature of man and woman. All individuals are unique with widely variable tastes, desires, personalities, characteristics, and needs. But every one of us is trying to get through life the best we can, given our background, given how we were raised, given what we were taught, given what our life experience has been, and given what we believe. But we're all trying the best we can to get through. We, we all have a survival strategy that part of it's been inherited from, from our parents or background. Part of it we've created on our own. Part of it we've learned from other people. This comes down to the choice of whether you believe in people whether you believe in the good in people or whether you believe in the bad. And I'm coming right out. I believe in the good. I believe everybody's trying the best they can. And sometimes they were never taught a better way. Okay. So if we teach somebody or share a better way, they're going to go along with it. People are going to go along with it. Because nobody's going to keep doing the hard way if there's an easier way. At least that's how what I'm thinking about that. Uh, oak, the oak advantages offer, so there's no defined path for anyone to follow. I can only share what I've learned and I've learned from experts and I've learned from many traditions over my, a lifetime of studying. Some of the things that I'm offering, uh, I, I mean I've just collected a gemstone here, a gem there, a bit of gold over here. I have come up with some things on my own, but that's because I've stood on the shoulders of those that have come before me. As we're all in this together and there's a wisdom. When you talk about life and you talk about the soul and the development of the soul and the development of human nature, there is, even though there are many, many, many traditions in the world, they're all expressing something that is in a way the same. It's it's kind of like well the way that I the way that I take it is is that the development of the soul and its powers is a purely mechanical process that happens through intense personal effort. Now, every tradition, even religion, whatever you want to talk about, has found its own path, its own recipe that it says will get a person there. 
and they all can be different, but they're all leading to the same spot. It's like a big wheel with the spokes all heading toward the hub, all heading toward the center. They all, all roads lead to Rome, if you will. And so you're going to find if you study different religions, if you study different traditions, you're going to find similarities because they're all leading to the same place. And they have all included masters and adepts. And they all are roughly equivalent. And they recognize the people who have attained to high degrees of competency, mastery, they recognize each other. It doesn't matter what tradition they belong to. They recognize each other. Uh, be, so it's an individual path. It's not a cookie cutter, one size fits all thing. And the things that I'm offering in these 114 advantages are things that I believe will bring results. Try them. If you get results, that's good. If you don't get results, go someplace else. Because we are attracted or repelled by powerful teachings. Let me repeat that. We are attracted or repelled by powerful teachings. And I'm looking for the people that are attracted to what I have to share. I have no desire and no interest in trying to convince somebody who's repelled by the concepts, repelled by the things. It won't, it will never work. You're just fighting. So there's a group of people, I would call them people who belong to my soul group. That's who I'm reaching out to. Because those members of my soul group are my brothers and my sisters. And I'm trying to help, give them a hand. And help them if they're open to that. So anyway, anyone can pick and choose. You can pick and choose any of the 114 advantages. Some of them might seem right on and some of them, some of them might seem a little bit iffy. Uh, just go along with whatever ones. What we're looking for is catalyst. It's not the advantage itself, but the catalyst. And let me explain what a catalyst is. A catalyst is something that you're exposed to, and it makes you think. It gives you something in a totally, it makes you think in a totally new way, a totally different way. And it changes you. It changes you, and you come up with something that you never came up with before. It's your understanding. And a true catalyst, once it's done its job, it drops aside, it goes to the side. In other words, these advantages are meant to be introduced to you to make you think in different and act in different ways that you normally wouldn't. And then they're meant to be discarded in favor of what you have discovered through your own personal experience. So they're just, they're purely meant to be catalysts. Because we need catalysts. We need something so that we can escape from the box that we find ourselves in. So that's the purpose of, of this. It's not enough to simply read each concept and understand it. Each concept 
has to be deeply integrated so that you can put it in your own words so you can express it in your own experiences and if you can't do that you haven't integrated it and not only that you need to be able to teach it and pass it on to somebody else somebody who has a totally different belief system totally different symbol system than what you do when you can pass it on to somebody else and they get it that's when you know that you've integrated it and that's what we're looking for with each one of these advantages soak it in integrate it enough so that you can express that concept better than i did so that you can express it in your own words in your own understanding and in your own life experience because each one of us is unique and what works for one person is not going to work for the next person but you can give clues and you can give hints and if the clues and hints are close enough that aha moment comes and people get it and when they get it the catalytic, catalytic effect happens, the life-changing chemistry happens, and you're able to open a door and go someplace you've never been before. And that's what we're looking for in these uh, advantages. So you can pick up just a couple of them. But the true power lies in being able to integrate all 114 advantages. Because when they are woven together, they form a matrix. And that matrix is extremely powerful and self-supporting. And it will offer a foundation, a foundation to stand on that is invincible. I, that, I, that's my experience. When I, I spent the first half of my life on a mystical journey towards source, toward uh, unity, just trying to connect with God, if you will is truly a mystical journey. And I reached a point where I made a, that contact and I, did, I experienced a polarity shift, which basically was, well, I'm way out in outer space. I can't go any further that way. I've got to come back down to earth. I spent the next 30 years trying to come back down to earth. And coming down to earth I was exposed for the first time I was exposed to the neotech advantages and these 114 neotech advantages that I was exposed to totally turned my entire belief system upside down it totally inverted it that it was that pow powerful because I had created what I called the Oak system that was based on the science of Dewey Larson, uh, chaos theory, things like that. And the Neotech concepts, the 114 advantages, which influenced these advantages, were able to just take everything that I'd spent the first half of my life creating and turned it upside down. That's powerful. So I'm telling you that this is powerful stuff. Whether it's for you to use or not, that's up to you. Uh, and these are my compromise or my integration of those 114 Neotech values. Especially because I can't 
come out and directly comment on the Neotech values because of copyright issues. If I had, otherwise, I'd be glad to do that. Uh, anyway, till next time. Peace.